You called me into your office. Yes, our confidential information has been stolen from the system. And it was through your IP address. What? Yes, and you heard me right. It was through your IP address. Sir, I've been working here for the past 15 years. Do you think I'll do that? You know me so well, sir. I'm a lawyer and employee. Yes, I know you, but it's not me who's gonna decide the issue. Uh, it's affecting our customers and our company's name. The head office is sending security experts to discuss and deal the issue. Yes, who's that? Hello! Hi, who's it? Uh, my name is Mireya and I'm coming with my colleague Nike. We are coming from the head office to investigate what is going on in our company. Can yeah. I come in? Yeah, please, please come in. It appears that our company system has truly been hacked. How could it happen? I never shared any of my confidential information with anyone. Uh, do you have the antivirus in your computer? Antivirus? Yes, I do, but, but it expired. Oh, okay. Let me explain you about weak cybersecurity. What it means is that when we innovate, our competitors share the benefits of our investments at no cost. While freeing up their own resources for innovation in other areas. And most private companies leave the affairs of cybersecurity to the government. But the government can do little or nothing about it because everyone is supposed to watch out for themselves and for their business. Oh, uh, so which means government uh, is not responsible for it? Cyber security. Cyber security, what is that? Cyber security is the body of technologies, processes, and practices designed to protect networks, computers, programs, and data from attack, damage, or unauthorized access. In a computer context, the term security implies cyber security. According to an analysis of U.S. spending plans, the federal government has a lot over 13 billion annually to cybersecurity over the next five years. Oh, which element does it include? Oh, the elements. The elements of cybersecurity includes the application security, the information security, network security, disaster recovery or business continuity planning, and user education. Oh, also, one of the most problematic elements of cybersecurity is the quickly and constantly evolving nature of security risks. The traditional approach has been to focus most resources on the most crucial system components and protect against the biggest known threats, which necessitate leaving some less important system components undefended and some less dangerous risk not protected against. Such an approach is insufficient in the current environment. Like Adam Vincent, CTO of public sector outlier 7 Technologies, a security services provider to federal agencies including Defense Department organizations, describes the problem. Yeah, it describes the problem as the threats is advancing quicker than we keep up with. The threat changes faster than our ideas of the risk. It's no longer possible to write a large white paper about the risk to a particular system. You will be rewriting the white paper constantly. Furthermore, to deal with this current environment, advisory organizations are promoting a more proactive and adaptive approach. The National Institute of Standard and Technology, that is the NISD, for example, recently issued updated guidelines in its risk assessment framework that recommended a shift towards continuous monitoring and real time assessments, ensuring cyber security requires coordinated efforts throughout our implementation.
created using Powtoon.